Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title of this video, we are doing- Oh my god, what is happening here? We are doing something slightly different than we normally do, and we are doing a clothing review haul. I don't really know what you call them because I don't really ever do these kinds of things. I think I've perhaps done a clothing haul slash review maybe once before on this channel. I believe it was for the Bra Lab. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for it up here. Um, but I was really tempted to do this review because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm wanting to shop at a new place, I always like go online and look for reviews of the products. Obviously, you can get the written reviews on the websites, but it's very common knowledge that those can often be faked. Um, so I do like to come onto YouTube and look for like actual video reviews so I can kind of see what the clothes actually look like on the person but I feel like for this particular company when I was looking at reviews for starters there weren't really that many and there also weren't really that many for people that had my kind of body type or were my sort of size so I thought if I'm gonna order from this place I'm gonna do a review because hopefully this will be able to help out someone else who's looking at shopping from this company in the future. So the brand or company in question is Yes Style. They are quite a common one, they are quite a big brand, but I'm, I don't think they're that popular in the UK just yet. I know that they are um, more of a, like an Asian Korean brand. They do a lot of kind of like K-pop star inspired clothing. They essentially are like, if you think of ASOS, the kind of company where they sell their own brand stuff, but they also sell a lot of products for loads of different brands and they also sell just a plethora of different types of products so it's literally the kind of place where you can get literally anything for a pretty reasonable price so it's like that just like ASOS but Asian essentially so they have like men's clothes women's clothes skincare they have wigs like they literally have everything it's one of those websites that's really really difficult to navigate because there's just so much but the prices are pretty decent and it's also one of those websites where they always have some kind of sale going on or you can always get a discount code. I think I downloaded the app because I felt like it was a lot easier for me to navigate and once you make an account it was like oh you know if you make if you, once you make your first purchase you can then um, upgrade to become an elite member and then you get like how like 10% off each of your orders and everything like that and I hadn't even ordered yet it was literally within two days of me making the account they'd already sent me an email being like you can upgrade now to be like a silver elite member so I was like fantastic so now I'm gonna get like an extra 10% off my order and then like a discount on shipping and stuff so so yeah, they do have really nice clothes on there. A lot of kind of different stuff than you would find in your normal Western store. So if you are looking for stuff that's not like your basic stuff that you're going to get every high street store, every online shop like Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo, um, this is the place to go. Or if you like K-pop or just like kind of Korean street wear, that kind of style of clothing, you are going to find that there. The only thing I'm very sceptical about is the sizing. Because we all know that typically Asian people are very small. And I know that the beauty standard in Asia, um, not much like how it is in Western culture, their kind of standard is still very, for women especially, is still very slim, extremely, extremely petite. And I have ordered things in the past from like Amazon or eBay that have come from China. Um, and they've just been minuscule. So... From the reviews that I've read on the website and the things, some of the things that I did see on YouTube, I basically just ordered the largest of anything that I could get. Um, and we're gonna see how it goes. I've drunk green tea today, which you know helps with weight loss. I'm also wearing my tightest Spanx. So right now I'm probably about the slimmest that I'm ever going to be. So if these clothes don't fit now, then so I ordered, I believe, six things from the website. I think I got one dress, three skirts. I believe one of them might even be a skirt, and I got two wigs. Um, and this is the box that it came in. It's just a pretty plain, basic box. It took about, I want to say, 20 days to come, so about three weeks or so, which is longer than it did say it was going to take when I was ordering it, but obviously it's coming from overseas and we are in the middle of a pandemic. So to be quite honest, I was expecting it to take about a month. So we're at the three week mark. And so I'm not too upset about how long it took. Um, everything in total costs, it does not say. Um, it doesn't say how much everything cost in total, but I do remember managing to find a discount code on the website for something like 
twelve percent off or something like that. And I think the shipping, because it was international, was maybe like a tenner. But then with that discount code, that basically covered the entire cost of the shipping. So I basically got free shipping. So yeah, that was like as I was saying, there's always some kind of sale or some kind of discount code on that website, even though the stuff is already fairly cheap. So before we jump right in, I just want to remind you guys to like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave comments down below, all of those kind of things really, really help me out. I'll also leave links to all of my social media down below. As I said in my previous video, I'm moving a lot of my makeup related content onto TikTok now. So if you have a TikTok account and you'd like to follow me there, that would be really, really great. I don't just do makeup stuff on there. I also like to think that I'm a quite funny. So, you know, basically, if you just want some entertainment, you just want to see this face, then... TikTok is the place to be. But that being said, Lego, I really need to do something about this because it is pissing me off. So the first item we have here is from, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce any of these names because I don't want to offend anyone. This is the Asymmetric Hem Mini Skirt and this one costs £7.60. I got this one in an XL just because this was the only one that was available in a size bigger than a large. I think this one was the only one I saw um that went up quite high i think this one might have even gone up to like a three or four xl but obviously because i had no idea what my size was going to be i did have a vague look at the size chart and it said that um just for reference i'm like a uk size 14 it did say that size larges and everything should fit me but just to be on the safe side i just thought since this one goes up to an xl i'm gonna try an xl um and the reviews did say that it has a little bit of stretch in it so this is what it looks like it does look it does look quite small <laughs> this skirt seems to be like one of the items that yes style is most known for or at least it's its most popular i didn't know this at the time it was only after i ordered it that i then started seeing loads of girls on my instagram feed wearing this particular skirt and i was a bit like either we all have immaculate taste or i'm basic I have yet to figure out which of those ones it is, but let's try it on. Um, mm. It's not really a great start, is it? Uh, the next one I have here is the Chain Detail A-Lines Mini Skirt, and this one costs £10.68. So this, the, the prices of the things are a little bit random. They're like very specific down to the penny. I don't know if that's because they're like converting it from a different currency. That probably is the reason. So yeah, that is something to bear in mind. Um, let's get into it. I'm, I'm, now that I've looked in the box, because it's been so long since I ordered this, I kind of forgot. Everything I've ordered is black. Ooh. I also didn't order any tops, not just because none of the tops I saw really spoke to me, but also because... They speak for themselves. I was just like, I'm not even gonna. I'm just not gonna. It's not gonna do that to myself. So here is this. Oh, the chain is not attached. It's just throwing itself at me. So this is a similar shape to the previous one, but this one is a bit more of a. It's a sort of a denim material. It's not like a. It doesn't feel like an authentic denim, if that makes sense. It's that kind of like synthetic, kind of. It's a fairly thin material, but it still feels good quality. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's not doesn't really have any stretch in it which is making me think that i'm not about to get in this but she's cute though and it comes with this little chain so i believe from the picture you attach it onto this hook here and then maybe it goes on the back i think it's one of those things where you can just decide for yourself how you want it to be if i remember correctly from the picture she had it on something like that well, considering how the last one went, I think all I can say is, um, oh, that just sounded like something snapped. Um, all I can say is disappointed, but not surprised. I think I'm probably gonna, you know, let me just, I think I'm probably just gonna keep this chain though, because this is cool. I can add it to something else. Now the last skirt I have here is the pleated asymmetric mini skirt with pouch. This was like the main thing that prompted me to shop on YesStyle because I'd seen a couple of like TikTok videos of girls doing clothing hauls from TikTok and I was like, I want that thing. Whatever it is, I want it and it looks really nice and it was like the first thing that popped up as soon as I opened the website. You know when you're like, I want to try this brand and then the first stuff that you see on their website is really shit and you're instantly like, I don't want to shop here. This skirt was like the first thing I saw and I was like, yep. Yeah, 
I'm getting it. This was also the most expensive. This one was $23.74. Another thing I will note about YesStyle though is because they have so many vendors, like so many different brands selling on the website, you will find a lot of the same clothing from different brands, but they will be slightly different prices. So that is something to be wary of. So you're likely to find like five of this same skirt but they'll be within a price range of like 20 to 30 pounds. So you basically just have to pick which one you want to buy it from, like which seller you trust the most. Okay, yeah, so it is actually a skort. It's essentially like this. This is the shorts bit inside. It's like elasticated at the back. And then you have this pleated part with a belt that is supposed to come around your waist. I'm going to have to figure out how that works. And then it also has this little pouch part attached to it which is actually a working pouch i'm really happy about that because all women know women's clothes does not come with pockets so the fact that this comes with its own bag i'm very happy about but it's also detachable by this little chain as well this is really cute and it feels like really nice quality as well so i'm excited about this so i didn't realize that even though the shorts are elasticated at the back there is also a zip so that is giving me some hope however considering how this has gone so far the hope is like it's like this much so technically speaking I am in it if you look at it from this side however um yeah that that zip and elastic combo did did literally nothing although I do like the fact that because this like scort bit is obviously an adjustable strap it, it, it oh I can't figure it out now it's technically on like from this side, from afar, it looks cute. It's very short, very short. However, for some people, including myself, that's not really an issue. It's just, it's just, it's just that. It's just that right there. I mean, I could technically just keep the skirt bit and wear it with my own shorts. That is an option that I am considering and I might actually do it because I do really like this bit. I do like the pouch situation. And obviously because the waist part is adjustable, it is really comfy and there is a lot of room to breathe. So, I don't know. And then the last item of clothing I have here is the long sleeve off the shoulder top slash zip dress. This one was £15 and 2 pence. I do like that these all come with really nice like zip bags and stuff. So this feels kind of like a combination between like denim and crepe if that makes sense it does seem to have quite a bit of stretch to it which i'm happy about so it looks like that and it's essentially one of those ones that you kind of wear like dungarees so you wouldn't just wear it by itself you'd wear it with like another top underneath it which i'm definitely gonna have to do because to be honest i don't see this getting over the girls but if i had like a really cute like graphic tee on i could have it like i don't know if you can see it like just kind of come up like a really high-waisted like underbust skirt and then obviously the strap could come over my shoulders and look super cute. I don't know if you can see it but the way that this strap is attached on this dress is really strange so it's like a chain and then you've got the regular like hooky bit but instead of it being actually attached to the hole on the strap it's kind of just like looped through and then it's you can't pull it back out which is strange. Okay, so I think that uh, the stretch factor is right now the only reason why I've even been able to been able to remotely get into this dress, and also um, the strap has snapped already. So you know that's fantastic. We love that. We love that. I'm not gonna lie, I worked up a little bit of a sweat trying to squeeze myself into all of those clothes. Like, it's a good thing I put a sports bra on because that was a workout. Um, and it wasn't worth it. That was a disaster. Not a single thing fit. Which, I can't really say that, like, in the back of my head I didn't really expect to happen, but I was at least hopeful. Um, so, yeah. But let's see if we can find try and salvage this review at least a little bit with the wigs. I'm gonna be honest, I really wanna be a wig ass bitch. Like I wanna be one of those girls that just like has a collection of wigs like every single day. It's a different hairstyle. Like you don't know what I'm gonna come with next. Like my hairline is laid. Just like, 
inches upon inches. I want to be one of those bitches. But the thing is, is that wigs, especially good wigs, are expensive. I also have not had very good experiences with wigs. I say that like I've worn so many wigs in my lifetime. I feel like I've worn a wig maybe once or twice in my lifetime. This was like back in the days when I used to dance for like our dance shows and there were like a couple of costumes where we had to wear wigs. And I remember this one in particular, we were doing a dance to Lady Gaga and Beyonce telephone. So we had the like full Gaga outfit on, like massive dress. And we had to have these wigs on. And it was like a stark white, like bob wig. But they were like cheap crap, like, like party store wigs, right? So it was like that disgusting synthetic hair that looks awful. And I've got a big head. So it was meant to be like a bob with a fringe. But like the fringe ended up like here on my forehead and you know so it you would think that the length would be kind of like where my hair sort of is now just like if it's gonna be a bob yeah the bottoms of that wig were like here was not cute at all so so when i saw these wigs on yes Style and i looked at the prices i thought they were pretty decent like they weren't too cheap to think that this is just going to be shit but they also weren't so so expensive that I was like I'm not even going to consider it also I feel like I would probably prefer to go for synthetic because I'm wearing it because I'd want to wear wigs for the like versatility thing they're not something I would wear often so investing in like a really expensive like human hair kind of wig is just not something that I would want to be doing um so I did get two wigs the first one here is the long full wig straight black and dark green now this wig i did watch a couple of yes style reviews on youtube that were specifically to do with the wig and in every single review i watched everybody got this one particular wig and everybody loved it so i was like i need to get this wig so i think it's like a straight kind of like lob like a long bob situation oh it comes with a wig cap fantastic because i don't own one of those um Oh, it actually feels really nice. So in all the reviews, they said that even though it's synthetic, like the hair looks nice and it's fairly soft. And yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually getting that. Like it is really soft. It doesn't look overly, overly synthetic. Like it's not really like matted. Like I can run my fingers through it. It's got this like thing, you know, like when you buy new shoes and they put that shit in there. I was actually expecting, I thought it was going to be more of like an ombre effect, so it would be more dark at the top and then green at the bottom, but it's actually just a mixture. It's basically just, I would say black with green highlights, but at this point it's green with black highlights. And the fringe does look quite cute. I'm just worried that, like, my head is big. So, let's see. Also the scalp, yeah, that scalp is pale. I'm going to have to... I don't wear wigs, but I do know a little bit about wigs just from, you know, personal research. So I think what I'm going to have to do is put a little bit of, like, foundation or some concealer in there to make it look more like my scalp colour. Because this isn't, like, a lace wig at all. It's not like that. So this is what it looks like inside. Okay. It's got a little bit of elastic at the back, so hopefully that will give me some wiggle room see how it goes okay so obviously right now my hair is in these twists like this is my designated quarantine hairstyle it has done nothing else since i've been in quarantine because it's just easy um and i don't feel like this is gonna work for putting under a wig so i might have to see if i can try and braid this down so it lays a bit flatter and then try and get the wigs on so i've braided or plaited my hair down as flat as i possibly could i've also put on the wig cap that comes with it is it normal for wig caps to have like a massive hole in the top like this? I don't know, I've never worn one. Um, but let's, uh, let's try on the wig. So in the back of it, at the bottom, it has these two elastic bits, which I guess you're supposed to like hook together like this. Or is there something else that they're supposed to hook onto? As I say, I have no idea because I've never fucking worn a wig before. So I might just hook them to each other to put it on because I feel like if I leave them hanging and then put it on, I'm going to lose them. I'm never going to get them back Finally, something in this review that fits! It is on. It is, it is on. I kind of feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> it was actually easier than I thought to, to put it on. I, I thought that, like, the whole thing just was not going to fit, but it actually is really stretchy at the back, so I've managed to fit all of my hair into it. And I'm actually really happy to say that I feel like the bangs are a little bit 
long because then at least I have some room to kind of trim them like the hair does feel really nice I gave it a little bit of a brush and like the brush didn't get stuck in there like it feels really soft it's really nice. obviously it has a little bit of a kink in the back but like I can straighten that out I don't even know if you can really see it right now I'm just like flipping my hair like it does look fake I'm very aware of that like I'm not looking at this thinking oh my god no one's ever gonna be able to tell that this is a wig like it's very clearly a wig but i feel like if i put on a hat or something with it like she could be really cute on she could be really cute and i also really like the color the bangs yeah i'm gonna have to, these are gonna these are gonna need some work these are gonna need some work funny story back in the day when i was like 15 i actually did used to have a full fringe like this but the thing is is that I had these full fringe and I used to straighten it so it was dead straight but I didn't straighten the rest of my hair and my hair is like 4C curly so imagine me just having this dead straight fringe then the rest of my hair is like afro and I'd like for some reason try to pull it over to the side of my head into a side bun because that was a cool look at the time but because my hair's so curly it wasn't long enough to stretch so the hair from this side would like get halfway and I'd have to like put all these bobby pins in it so it would just be all bumpy and janky and disgusting and then I'd have this tiny little puff at the side with a dead straight fringe. That was not a look. Why did anyone let me go out like that? This on the other hand, this is a look. The next wig I have here is the long half wig wavy highlight black and purple. This one was £19.32. Oh did I say how much the previous one was? So that one was £17.59. This one is from the same brand as the previous one, just from what I reviews I was reading on the website and from reviews that I had seen on YouTube. Everyone was saying that this particular brand, Jellyfish, had the best wigs because there were some some really hit and miss ones on Yestar and you don't really want to take the chance. But every all of the wigs from this one particular brand seem to have really, really good reviews. So I figured let's try this one. I was hoping that I could get the one that was like black and purple because there was a really nice one but they didn't have that one in stock so i just went for this one there oh oh i see what i've done here this is not a full wig this is a hair piece oh i was really hoping it was gonna be a full thing because on the website it looked like a full thing with like a cute little fringe and everything but this is not that and it I don't understand how this is supposed to work because it has a like has like this like band on it so is it supposed to be that you're supposed to like put it on your head like this and then the theory is is that you were supposed to have your own hair to like layer on top of it is that how that's supposed to work well that's really disappointing I was hoping that this was gonna be a whole wig it's really annoying because the hair is really nice like it's a nice curl like it's that kind of ombre that I thought it was gonna be like it feels really nice you can see it looks nice <sighs> that's upsetting but maybe i could just put a hat on that might work boom who gonna check me no one no one no one's gonna check me you would not immediately look at me wearing this and think that's only half a wig she's got on under there no one would know it's only if i went like this then i look stupid but it's fine it's okay because I'm always just going to have the hat on. Because the hair itself is really nice. And literally all I did was just cut that thread that was like that. Because that was like way too small and that wasn't going on my head. So obviously probably should trim the rest of that off. But like the back of it's really nice and elasticated. So that fits my head fine. It also has these built-in combs in it. So I just attach that to my headpiece like that. Put the hat on. Where did I put it? put the trusty bucket hat on boom now i look fucking cool as fuck now i look like an actual k-pop star because they like wear bucket hats and shit like this now and this is a really cool one who gonna check me absolutely no one it looks good i might even just go back and order the rest of the cons now because i really like it the hair is really nice it's got a nice curl to it it's not heavy it's not too long there's the fact that like till the point that it just looks stupid or is really uncomfortable i'm feeling it i feel myself i am i like it
cat. Oh. Should probably take the tag out of it. Yeah, I should probably do that. Well, that was an entire roller coaster, but we got to the end. I'm back in the first wig just because I kind of wanted to see how it looked with the hat on, and I do think it looks quite a bit better. Strangely enough, I feel like this hat now fits my head better that I have the wig on, which doesn't make any sense because there's now more hair under it. Like when I wear it with just my natural hair, it does feel a little bit tight, but with the wig on, it just slips right on. Makes no sense, but I do think it looks cute. Can you imagine this with a beret? Like how adorable would that be? A nice straight bob with a fringe and a beret. A classic look, never goes wrong. So anyway, that is it for the end of my YesStyle review. Will I be ordering clothes from YesStyle again? Probably not, unless I found an item that I like absolutely loved I couldn't find anywhere else and it went like I found that the sizes went up really large I feel like in order to find something that would fit me I'd have to get like a like a two or three or maybe even a four XL and I feel like for the effort that I would go to to buy the item of clothing for how long it would take to ship to me and then for the likelihood that it's not gonna fit I personally just feel like shopping on YesStar just isn't worth it for me like if you are really small and really petite the clothes on there are really really nice and they're really good prices so if you feel like they're gonna fit you then go for it but if you're like my size even basically I feel like if you're like a size 10 or upwards it's gonna be hit and miss for you the tops might be different because I do feel like they have a lot of really like oversized kind of baggy kind of style tops so that might be something to consider I just didn't get any of those because those personally aren't really my style but I feel like with that kind of oversized clothing you can kind of get away with it um, but yeah, clothing wise, I don't feel like I'm going to be shopping on YesStyle again. The sizing just isn't inclusive enough for me. I felt like the quality was nice for the price that you're paying. So the clothes weren't bad. They just didn't fit. The wigs, I feel like I would buy again. Um, yes, I feel like I'm feeling the wigs. Gonna have to read the descriptions properly though next time to make sure that I don't order half a fucking wig i am also interested to see their skincare because i know they have a lot of skincare brands on there i've even seen a couple of skincare brands on there that i've bought before from other places and it seems like on yesstar they're a little bit cheaper so if those are legit and they're not like scam like makeup products that are not real i would be willing to try those out and see how those are so yeah for basically everything but clothes I think I'd probably shop at YesStyle again. So I hope that you guys have found this video helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you have, then again, let me know by liking this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, that really helps me out. I feel like I'm gonna start filming so many TikToks with this wig on so definitely go follow me on tiktok and all of my other social medias as well because i am a lot more active on those i'll leave all the links in my description box below so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video probably wearing this wig because i don't feel like i'm ever going to be taking it off